is a former cast member of Saturday Night Live who went on to star in some great shows like Black Monday and Marry Me. She's also written a book. It's called The Wreckage of My Presence, the best title ever, and it's out right now. Please welcome Casey Wilson. <laughs> You have my favorite color of hair. It's my favorite color of brown. You can have it. I can. It doesn't work as well on me. A blonde doesn't suit me on my personality. I can't. Uh, carry I can. It I'm off. a chameleon. I'll I'll just you know dive into whatever color. But I love your color. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you look beautiful. Thank you so much. I decided to bring some color. Perhaps too much, but no. Here we are. I think you look gorgeous. Thank I was like, you. God, you walked in and I felt happier all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm so, so well happy. done. I'm yes. so, so happy to meet you. I love you. Oh well, it's nice to meet you too. I have to ask you. I'm from a reality show, and I hear that you really love reality. I do. Okay. And it's you know so funny. What? I'm, I'm from a reality anymore. show. I don't really watch it. <laughs> well, I wish I could get on one. No, I, I am. I'm in love. I love the Real Housewives, and people may say what they will. I'm no longer a Housewives apologist. I've come out of the closet about that, <laughs> and I feel comfortable with that truth. Apologist. With my truth. Yes. Um, yeah, I was lucky enough to see the very first airing of the very first episode of Orange County about 15 years ago, and I'd like that in my obituary. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, like most of my friends love those shows. So like, yeah, I'm the oddball of the group. No, you're a person of dignity. No, it's really not that. It's, re or uh, yeah, we'll filter it that way. But it's yeah. really, I just don't have a lot of time. That's my thing. I yeah. guess I feel I have to, and I, I'm a mom too. I don't know yeah. where I'm finding the time, but I am finding Oh my lot. God, okay, write that book. Well, yeah. How to find time. <laughs> yeah. um, well, congrats on the book. Thank this, you so this, much. Uh, it's writing a book is a big deal. It's a lot that goes into it. Like, I, I always feel like people always ask me, and I'm like, that's too much pressure. I'm, I'm not, and I don't know if I want to be that open. Um, so where, and I'm a very open person, so <laughs> where, where did the title come from, though? Because The Wreckage of My Presence is an amazing title. Thank you so and much. And it paints such a good picture. It paints quite a picture. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of about my 20s and 30s and the wreckage I left in my wake, but I got the title. I was just at a random meeting, like you are, you know, with like a bunch of parents, everyone sitting around, and everybody had left like Snapple bottles and Diet Coke. And when we left, the head of the meeting just casually said to everyone, was like, don't forget to bring with you the wreckage of your presence. And everyone was like, oh, that's a heavy phrase for... Yeah you know, your Starbucks cup. But <laughs> it felt, I was like, I love, love that phrase. It's, it's great. Yes. And it really does depict like how you're feeling in certain moments or what is your life in certain <laughs> points. <laughs> Everything I've left behind. You're like, yeah. well, some aren't all positive front put, footprints. No. Um, but you, you <laughs> write about um, you and your husband being bed people. So first of all, congratulations Thank on that know. relationship. And what exactly does that entail? Great question, Kelly. Uh, so a bed person to me, you know, my husband and I, we have two small children. We're just so tired all the time that yeah. I tend to try to do everything I can from bed. And this was pre-pandemic. <laughs> I'm in that bed, I'm taking meals. I'm taking friends, letting them snuggle right up next to me. I'll do anything from there, or the bath. Or the bath. Yes, you can yeah. have your girlfriends if you need a catch up, just perch right on a little chair right there yeah. with you as a 40-year-old woman. Yeah. And I'm not getting bubbles to like cover up. It's like, you see what you see. You see what you, it's your fault. That's on you. That's yes, yes. on you. Yeah. You don't like And this. you're Get welcome. Yes. <laughs> Take so, a long look. <laughs> this is goals. Um, so is it true that your dad, is he your publicist for this? My father, God bless him, Paul Wilson would like to be my publicist. And he has oh. made <laughs> several promotional videos for my book. That's and amazing. he's very sweet. Throughout the process, he's very worried about, like, was I going to put enough in there that would sell? There he is. Oh, my God, I love your dad. This picture so, says so much. Uh -huh, that's him every morning oh in his God. hot tub. The neighbors had to build up that foliage Where does he live? Him. Narnia? Like, he lives in Alexandria, Virginia. Wow. But all the neighbors have built hedges and foliage because he's out there every morning with his cigar in the hot tub talking loudly on, the, on his phone. Oh, my God. So they're like, we don't need to see Paul Wilson every morning in the half nude. <laughs> But he's a bad person, we? too. See? Yeah, we we yeah. like to be submerged. Apple tree. I like it. Yes. Yeah. Um, your dad looks fun as hell. I he, just have to say that. He is fun. Yeah. He's a great dad. But he's always like, I know this is going to disturb everyone, but he just wants the book to sell. So he's like, did you put sex in there? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, sex sells. <laughs> Oh my God! He's were not, you were you pretty open in it though, like about? I was, yes. Yeah. Hopefully, very comedically uh, about obviously funny things like things I've said, but also my mom passed about 15 years ago. So there's a lot in the book about grief and motherhood yeah. and what that brings up. Um, yeah. You know, parenting when you've lost a parent and yeah. 
So I hope I touch on a little of everything, not just comedy, but yeah. I hope and you'll be And there's laughing. all different forms of that with grief. Like, it, they don't have to die. They could just not be present. 100%. Like, it's still, still grief. Yes. Yeah. No. It's important that you're open about that. That's cool. People can, I, I had a therapist once when a boyfriend broke up with me, and I, she was like, he's passed, but he's still going around living. And it's very, yeah. that annoying. you can have that experience. It's very <laughs> just annoying. Die. Yeah. I'm just die. <laughs> I'm just I was kidding. Like, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Walk off of a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> All it's right. hard when people remain alive that you want dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is the next book. <laughs> We're writing it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> well, everybody, Casey's book is called The Wreckage of My Presence. You've got to check it out. Want more fun stuff? I thought so. Check out these videos floating around my head. This one is really cool. I'm just saying. No pressure.